Ooh. I started late. Ah. You know, since the time changed, I've been messed up. I don't know if anybody else out there has been messed up, but I've been messed up since it changed. And it's, it's, it, the, the animals are screwed up. The dogs don't know what time it is. <laughs> I mean, they're usually like clockwork they, when they want to go to bed and want to get fed and want to go out and yeah, it's not that way right now. But hey, that's the way it goes. How's everybody doing out there tonight? Hopefully everything's working. I see green bars everywhere, so that's always a good sign. Got some stuff to do on Atlas tonight. Is it gonna start soon? Can you hear me? Nope. You not hear anything? Hello? <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Man. Oh, man. It's 10 o'clock. All right. Well, hey. Welcome, OGs. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli1961 for All Gamers Never Die. And we are going to be back on Atlas tonight. So that'll be fun, right? Um, let me just say welcome to the newest OG out there my vlogs channel <laughs> thanks for joining uh yeah i become a good og and uh and join the group it's 100 uh 100 1818 subscribers right now i can't hardly believe that but that's what the number says i checked it right before we get started we might hit 2000 subs before the end of the year what a christmas present that would be <laughs> or before thanksgiving that'd be even really cool but you know, we'll see i, I don't want to get ahead of myself um and then there's a special thanks i want to send out to the folks that have been doing the super chats and the super stickers thank you so much i really appreciate that it's certainly nothing i expect out of people i'm here to entertain you and and have a good time <laughs> ah, hopefully keep my voice and just just have fun playing video games and share that with the community and and that people like to support that is awesome. I really appreciate it. That money goes towards the servers that I run for the OG community. By the way, if you're interested in playing Ark Atlas, uh, we've got a person that just started up a Valheim server and Seven Days to Die server. Mistland's coming for Valheim soon. They just announced some stuff. So uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you uh, follow the link in the description below on the OG Discord. Check out the channels, hang out with us, talk a while. We got OGs all over the place. So, hey, there's usually somebody out there talking. Hey, Pipe Boss, how you doing? Uh, so come on out, hit the, uh, and, and go to the Discord link in the description below and, and hang out with us. It's, it, it'll be fun. Um, also do some, some things for the channel. Every once in a while we'll do a stream on, on Discord just for kicks because, you know, People like to watch me get killed doing stuff. Uh, okay, so what are we doing tonight? We're, tonight we're on Atlas. Uh, I want to get the base kind of situated. I've done some offline work. Um, <laughs> girls. <laughs> hey, Gail. Uh, nope is back in town, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to get situated. We're back on Indec Indecent Queens. And, oh, by the way, if... if and I said I put the link in the description for this last week when we did Atlas. And I went back and was looking, and I didn't copy it. I had the Conan link, so I fixed that. But just just for, you know, let's just do this. Um, if, you have, if, you're, if you're an Atlas player, or if you bought Atlas recently and you haven't played it, you're on PC. I, I can't help you if you're on console. I'm sorry. I wish I could, but, uh, but this is something that... <laughs> this is a PC server, but let me see if I can get it to work. I'm going to try. 
Let's, you know me and technology. Let's see what happens. Look at that. It did work. <laughs> okay. So if you're interested in playing Atlas on PVE servers, they do some PVP events, but you want to play and just play. You don't want to have to go through all the grind of learning all the skills and doing everything. And it just takes forever to tame anything. Um, and you're wondering, how is it that I get all this stuff really fast? <laughs> Come play on Dan Decent Queen servers. Um, and, and look, I mean, they got all kind of stuff. They, they're, this is, they're doing all kind of, uh, bumps to the different quality of life stuff. And there's a resource map so you can tell what's on what island. So if you're going to try to figure out what you need and you need to find out where it's at, it's out there. And I mean, look at this, uh, Let's see, we, they have VIP grids. We talked about that last time where you can actually pay some money every month and, and you have your own island that nobody can build on unless you tell them. And that's kind of cool. Um, I've got one uh, and you're welcome to come play on it and build on it if you want, but I just did it because I like to support the, the group and they're not, I, they don't sponsor me. I just be clear about that. <laughs> but I do love playing on them. They're good folks and, uh, and I have a lot of fun out there and they've got everything that the main game is supposed to have. <laughs> It's just easier to play. Uh, Cause look at, I mean, this is, this is a huge map. We've got everything. We've got the, the polar, the tundra regions, the Ecuador, 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 Equator. <laughs> I can't talk tonight. This is going to be fun tonight. It's going to be lots of fun. But anyway, uh, if you're interested, the link is in the description now, ex ex correctly in there. So, <laughs> So go out there, give them a shot. See what, see if you're, if you're interested, it doesn't cost anything to play on their servers. I mean, you can donate if you want and get some cool stuff, but you don't have to, you can just play and get all these cool things. It is a lot of mods. So, uh, you, there's a link to the mods. So you, if you want to see what they are before you get hooked into it, you can do that. But Hey, you know, if you're interested, give them a shot. Um, we need to get playing, right? Oh, oh, before we get started. Tonight's triple threat, starting things off with CJ Games. This dude has ARC on lockdown. I mean, he's got videos on how to learn how to play. He's got videos on cool builds. He's got videos on just let's play uh, different scenarios. He's got even um, uh, Primitive Plus stuff. So if you're if you're an art player and you want to learn some new stuff or you want to see some different things or you've never played arc and you want to know what it's about give him a shot link is in the description uh next up i've got uh let's see my friend <laughs> this guy is he inspired me to get started on streaming and and just go for it and it's da vinci gaming he's another seasoned gamer i'll put it that way uh <laughs> But he, he does all kinds of games. I mean, if he's, he plays anything from Valheim to New World to shooters like Modern Warfare, he's got one of those streams coming up. Uh, go by and take a look at his stuff and, and hey, hang out his channel. And he's got a great group of people out there. Um, you may learn a thing or two. <laughs> you know, us old folks, every once in a while we can, we can drop some wisdom a little bit if we don't forget to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, last but not least, I have Halo Girl 008, and she likes survival type uh, RP role play, maybe, I guess, would be what you call it, because she really, I mean, she's got Sea of Thieves, she plays Fallout, and then there's also sprinkling in some uh, Sims 4 and some uh, House Flipper. So if you're interested in a kind of an eclectic mix, of seeing somebody out there uh, that's that's out there playing some different stuff, give her a shot. Go out there, drop by her site. All these creators are fairly. I'll say we're we're all early in our in our development, <laughs> so you know we're learning. But it's always fun to have somebody come by, say hello, give us a like, drop a comment. Hey, if you enjoy the stuff, subscribe to the channel even. But um, but yeah. Drop by those sites when you get a chance. Take a look at look at the links. Come back after we do the lives. <laughs> Watch the lives. Watch mine. That would be cool. But but yeah, if you're looking for something else to see, go out and take these people out and and hey, tell them Yuli sent you from Old Gamers Never Die, and that'd be cool because they'll you know they'll let they, they, other people support them. Uh, and I'm losing my voice already. <clears throat> That's not good. You know what? 
Let's play Atlas. Um, I probably should have signed in. <laughs> but I was trying to make sure everything worked. Indecent. And if you want to find the indecent, the indecent Queen servers, all you gotta do is go to unofficial and uh, type in indecent up here in the filter and it'll come up indecent Queen seven by seven. That's the one you want. This one's their test server. It's locked. You can't get in there anyway, but this is the one. It doesn't cost anything. It's free to play on and select your world. I am in E3. I'm in this island up here at the top. If you want to come by, if you're playing on the server and you want to say hello, that's where I'm at. But uh, we're going to click there and we're going to join. And hopefully nothing updated while I was getting ready for the stream. It'll actually work. That'd be good. Uh, what's the weather like where you're at? Is it freezing like it is here? Ah, uh, my, my feet are like, feel like blocks of ice. I think it's supposed to be down to 27 Fahrenheit here today or tonight and it was like 80 just three days ago so pff, wonder nobody's got pneumonia and everything else i probably will end up with it that's that's usually the way it goes <laughs> yeah, nope's gonna go play dario how's it going minus five c at the moment we were at minus 20 C last week and about a foot of snow. <laughs> Jeez. No, uh, that's you. You can have that stuff. It's bad enough in Virginia. It gets, it gets cold here, but then you get like numbingly cold for very long. And then it, it starts getting better. February is usually the worst month for us. Snowing tonight and it was 80 last week. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. The whole world is is like going crazy. Cats and dogs sleeping in at the, the Bill Murray line in Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's pandemonium. Well, hopefully everybody's staying, you know, safe and warm and and not getting stuck in snowstorms and stuff. Uh Zero, here's your chance. If you want to say anything else about Indies and Queens, just just Type it in the chat. <laughs> They're a great group of people. And Serial, I don't know, the guy, you, he's got to have the patience of Job. I don't know how he keeps these servers up when when the devs at Atlas keep throwing all these changes at everybody, but he definitely keeps everything going. Yeah, it's a lot of mods. 30, we're at 28. We're, we're almost there. The first time you log in, if you go play it, it may take a while to load the, the mods. You may have to restart a couple of times, but it's worth it. Trust me, it is. And I had zero deaths last week, and we're going to try to keep it that way this week. We'll see what happens. Oh, no, I did have one, didn't I? I, I, had, to, I had to kill myself. And then it seems like I might have had another one. We're going to try to keep the, the limit at zero tonight. How's that? We'll, we'll see. If I never risk anything, then there's no rewards, right? <laughs> Takes a few hours of DSL. It can be bad. Oh, thank you for stumbling by, Stanley. <laughs> Always have fun doing these streams. Okay, we're here. We're here. If mom, yeah, there we go. I have some visitors. So last last week we got here, and there's the boat, and and here's a little building we built or I built, and we, and at the end of the video I went and tamed a bear, and uh, and then I tamed another bear, <laughs> and a cow, and some sheep, and a seagull, and I have a problem. Okay, I have a problem. Well, you know, they keep coming by here and this is, this is another cow cause you never know. And I have this pig, I need names for all these guys. I, I have one name for one animal and that is the latest bear that I got. This one here, he looked kind of like a, 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 a raccoon. So I named him rocket, but the rest of them, you know, 
they're they're just they're just hanging out. Um, I have I have, you know, I built a dock because I had to build another boat that I could get around and see what else is on this island because the 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 water is kind of shallow around most of this island. And I want to make sure I didn't get stuck with the, the with brig. So I built um, the not bad, and we'll we'll tour around in that in a little bit. Um, this is just to feed the crew. This over here is a warehouse. So as you progress in Atlas, if you're playing on um, official, and, and I'm sorry if you are, uh, <laughs> if that's what you want to do, have at it. But it's it's a grind. But what you'll want to, when you get to the point where you get through and you can put this warehouse up and build uh, crafting, uh, harvesting stations, then you want to do that. Now, these are Indecent Queens harvesting stations, so they do a little bit more than what the, the standard ones do. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's the one that gathers wood for me when I'm, you know, not doing anything else and, and fiber and stuff. And then I've got one over here. That's a farmhouse, which usually gathers just, you know, food, but the indecent one gathers a little bit of everything and it all feeds to this warehouse, which you go, well, that's awesome. Then it's all sitting there in the warehouse. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's good to have storage, but it does fill up. But the cool thing is, um, no one animal two, no three, no more. <laughs> better, uh, 30, 30. Um, yeah. Um, the cool thing about having the warehouse is that you can put a little marketplace up here. And when you do that, that will really help you out because then you can start establishing trade routes with other people that are playing. And in fact, these are the trade routes that I've got. I set up with the, the, uh, marketplace. And once you build this thing, you basically just go in and you tell it, you want to trade stuff. And then you look up if there's any available trade routes in the, the chat boxes over top of that right now. But, um, and then people will start asking if they want, you know, you can send things out to invite people to trade with you. Um, some of them will accept, some of them are still you know, not looking at my stuff. Uh, but, uh, and now, and so I also have some people that ask to trade with me. So all I have to do is go over these cog wheels and click on that and say, accept trade route. And I'll start trading with them. And then the same thing, we'll do the same thing with this exiled uh, whoever that is, Exile Bunch will accept that trading route. So now what happens is in the background, things will get traded that I put up here with those folks who have stuff put up on theirs. And I guess one of the things that, that I had to learn, uh, when I first started messing with this is you can go in and, and you click on this to trade things, new trade. And over on the left, it'll tell you the resources that you have in your warehouse that you can trade. Um, and then it will tell, it'll have a list on the right of things that you might want to get. And so when I first started doing this, I was like, okay, well, I don't have sugar. So I really want sugar. So I'm going to trade um, my oil for as much sugar as I can get. Well, that's... You can do that. You can set it up and say, you know, I want to trade whatever for the sugar. But the problem is if nobody's trading sugar, you're not doing anything. You're not selling anything. Nothing's moving and, and you're, you're not generating any, uh, any resources coming back to you that maybe you didn't have that you could get this way. So what I learned is if you have a resource, like I said, over on the left are all my resources that I have that I can sell. If I click on pine, it's going to put that over here. What I want to do is if I want to sell pine for something else, say I want to sell pine for, what do I, I, I don't have any salt on my island. Okay. I could try to get these kinds of salt, but better for me to just say, I'll take any kind of salt. And then whoever is trading salt of any kind will trade. It'll automatically happen. If I'm just looking for one of these, I may not ever get it because nobody may be selling it. So if you're setting up your market out here on the, on the, um, the Atlas servers, whether you're playing official, whether you're playing on a, on a dedicated server, that's, that's not official. It all works the same way. But the advice I would give you is 
If you're setting up a, a, a merchant or a market at your island, then trade for generic goods, and then you'll get whatever anybody else is trading. If you only pick one thing, you you may not ever get it, and then you're just you know just wasting your your. I guess you're off your free time. It's not, it's not really count. It's not. I'm not having to do anything but set this up. But because I do that, I have my my pine. I want to sell it for salt, and I hit add. Oh, I've already put one in there for it. See, so, you know, I've got people sending me salt that want my pine. Um, or I could just do it for other woods. The reason that you want to have all these things is because in Atlas, unlike Ark, Ark, if you played Ark and you're looking at similarities between Ark and Atlas, because it's basically the same company. And there are a lot of similarities. But in Ark, if you want to build something that's uh that's a vanilla piece you have wood and you have fiber and you have stone okay so i make it out of those things and that's what i got and if i want to make a better one i probably have to have more wood fiber and stone to make the the, the next level up of that particular item so if i want to have a better sword i'm going to have to have more metal in atlas it doesn't work that way what it does is that you have to have different kinds so there's basically six kinds of every resource in in atlas and if you want to make the highest level things you have to have an amount of all six of those things and i'll show you what i'm talking about because one of the things that i was able to get last week while i was tooling around is i had i had a pirate ship just sink in front of me which was fortuitous because i had no people manning my cannons <laughs> and i was about to i thought i was going to get killed um but I got a bunch of blueprints off of that, that pirate ship. But if you look at there, see, you have the different colors, just like a lot of the games where, you know, you know, the blues are low level and then greens and then purples and yellows and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the higher you go up in quality for when you're building stuff, the more resources you have to have. So if I want to build a, if I want to build this sail, uh, this is not a blueprint. That's a real sail. Let me get a blueprint. Okay. Um, low level. This one's a, yeah, it's a green sale. It's a fine sale. I only need two kinds of fibers. I need 226 twice of two different kinds of fibers. It doesn't matter which kind. I just have to have two kinds. Same with hide, metal, and wood. If I go up and, and get better quality stuff, I'm going to have to have, you know, three, four, five. And if you get to mythic, which is the top level, six plus some mythos, which, you know, is another whole nother, another <laughs> subject. But that's how you get better parts in Atlas. It's it's a little bit different than Ark, and I think more challenging and more fun. It's built, the game is built so that you have to go to other places, or you have to set up a market and trade with other people, because that's just the way the game is set up. And the more you move around, the more you explore, the more resources you find, the more resources you get, the better stuff you can get, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't need the cow to poop right then, but yeah, whatever. Um... So that's how the market works. And if you've never played the game, it's it 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 will take you if you're especially if you're playing on official, it's gonna take you a while to get through all the skills. We'll do the skills to skill tree to get to uh mercantilism or whatever it is. I don't know which one it's under. Um but you'll have to go through the different ones and get to the different trees and go through all that to get just like how any other game, it's got a skill tree that you kind of track through. The good part about playing on indecent Queens is it's all unlocked for you. When you start, you don't have to do this grind. And that makes for, if you don't play very much and you just want a game that you can relax and have fun with, that's what I would suggest doing is coming to a server like this and playing and this PV so you don't have to worry about people like shooting your ship out from underneath you and stuff like that. And you can kind of learn the game. I've, I've talked with different people who've said, um, you know, my chat is working. Hello, beautiful peeps. Okay. <laughs> I, I hope that y'all are hearing me tonight. Um, yeah, <laughs> it looks like you are. We'll see. Um, uh, but yeah, so if you're, I've had people say, well, I don't want to play with other people yet because I'm just learning the game. Well, here's a way that you can learn it and play and have other people. If you go into the, the global chat, there's always somebody out there talking and there's people that you could ask questions of in the game, or you can go to the discord for the group and ask questions there. 
and and you you know you don't you don't have to feel so alone but f- if you want to play by yourself i mean i this island's mine i've got the whole island now i am a uh, a, a uh, what do you call it vip person i, I pay for a monthly uh, vip island but you don't have to do that you just you can go to an island that's not claimed that's a public island and claim it and it's yours and you can get taxes off of it and you can you know play around and and do stuff and more than likely you're going to be pretty much by yourself most of the time, unless you want some help. So I would highly suggest if you learn this game, do that. If you want to play a grindy, slow paced, frustrating experience, (laughs) you can go play on the officials. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. But, uh, but this is the way to do it. And, and, um, and it makes things a lot faster. Now I'm going to show you something because last week we got here and everybody's like, well, tame a bear, tame a bear. And so we did, I showed you how to tame a bear with basically four billboard signs, which works well on this server because the, the taming rates are much, uh, faster than they are on official. And the Bola length time is much longer than it is on official. So once you, you get something in, you know, Bola and down, you're probably going to be able to get that tamed before the bola breaks on this server on official. Probably not, especially if it's a higher level animal. So what I'm going to do, I told, told everybody I would do this is I'm going to show you a trap that we used to build on official that worked and I'm going to, I don't need it, (laughs) but I'm going to build it so that you'll see how you need to, what you need to do if you want to build this, this trap. And it works for pretty much anything. You may have to make it a little bit bigger if you want to catch something like an, uh, an elephant or a giraffe or a rhino, but it's the same principle. And, and, and people, people make traps. I've watched people make traps over and over again, and they all make them the same way. This is different. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a design that me and another guy came up with back in the day when I was working official, uh, when I was working, when I was playing official, and it, and it works pretty much every time. And even for the big stuff, I mean, if you want to suit up with a suit of armor too, <laughs> it doesn't hurt, but these are, this is all you'll need. You'll need one bed. You'll need one small door or a gateway. You'll need one small gateway. I don't have two doors here. Oh, that's because I have the medium ones and the medium ones are too big. So I will just, we'll just pretend like those aren't here. <laughs> you'll need 16 ceilings. You'll need 17 floors. You'll need four ramps. You'll need, or ceiling pieces. You'll need 28 walls. No, you build everything just like on art. Look, so everything is, uh, built out of pieces. The only thing that's the, now the, the warehouse is a single unit as are the marketplace and the crafting stations. Those you drop like you would a smithy. That makes sense. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Okay. And you'll need, and this is optional. You can have two billboard signs. I, it's up to you, but let's, let's do this. We're going to put, um, yeah, that's one of the things I like about Atlas over arc is the graphics are better and the machine, my machine runs a little bit less. I'll, it doesn't run as hot as it does on arc, but you know, my arc servers have a lot of mods too. So you know how that goes. Um, works plays on my servers and so does Nope. So they, they, they get it. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's the medium one. I don't want the medium one. Uh, we'll need the bed. We'll need the wall, the ceilings. We'll need the slope roofs. We'll need the, this and we'll need that. Okay. So those are the pieces that we we'll need and you can go back and, you know, if you get ready to build this thing later, Oh, it's raining. Oh, uh, the other thing different on Atlas versus Ark is on Ark you can drink water anywhere. And Atlas, you can only drink fresh water. That water here is salt water. You can't drink it. Um, the rain will fill you up. It will also fill up your canteen if you want to, if you have one. I f- the problem is I dump all my stuff in the food things and I end up dumping my my canteen in there too but you can also fill up your canteen in the rain by just double clicking it and it'll fill up in the rain even if it's in your inventory um and then water barrels you can build those you can put them out here you want to turn the you want to take the lid off when it's raining so it'll fill up and then close the lid back so it'll hold it longer but 
Okay, so here we go. We're going to build this trap. And like I said, I don't really need it, but if I was playing official, I, I, I would. So we're going to start with foundations. And you can just you can just highlight it and hit E and it'll drop it on here, or you can put it in your hot bar. I just I just don't like building in my hot bar. So um, we're just gonna we're just gonna place it here. So we'll do one there. They do stack. We'll do four this way. Is that four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Uh, do do one. Three. Now we have our little sixteen block square. Okay, and then I had one extra one, right? So we're gonna put that over here, just out of the way, and we're gonna take and put our bed on it, because if you're taming a bear or uh, a tiger or a lion and they get the better of you while you're doing the taming process because they will uh, snap back at you while you're trying to feed them. Ark is like Homer Simpson when it comes to survival water. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but if you're if you're trying to uh, feed one of those aggressive animals while they're bola, they will snap at you and they will kill you if you get hit too many times. And you don't want to have to spawn back all the way because this could be like out in the middle of nowhere where they're actually wandering around. And you want to set that up where you see them wandering so you don't have to kite them so far. Um, you want to put a bed out here so you'll have a spawn point in case the worst happens and you can just jump right back in the game. Okay, so we got our we got our foundation built. Now this is this is the part that I see everybody do. And I'm like, okay, well it's only half of it, but we're, we're gonna do it. Um uh, this and we're gonna go here. Now in arc you you change the wall is the door and the window and all that. You don't have I mean, Atlas. I'm sorry, not Arc. Arc, you have separate pieces. This one, you just have a wall and you can make it a door, a wall, a window, uh, whatever. So we're going to turn it. We'll press T, goes down, and we're going to turn it into a doorway. And we're going to put doorways all the way around. Get out of my way, bird. Sometimes they don't want a place. You know, it is kind of a wild card game. Okay, so we have our single story of, of stuff. And most people, what they'll do is they'll put a ramp up and the things will run in here and you can run through it and they can't because they can't fit through a doorway. Which is cool, but you still have the issue of you got to feed these things and, and once they're bolted and they're angry. They get really angry. So what I do, and this is what we came up with that's a little bit different, is we'll build it two stories high. And like I said, if it's a bigger animal like a giraffe, you're going to have to go up higher than this. So you'll have to go three stories or maybe four. All the way around. Okay? Now, the next we're going to do, and, and you need to do this in order because it won't fit if you don't. Um, now we're going to take our gate. The gateway. Right? We're going to place it. Come on. Right in. No. There we go right there okay and now we're going to take our slope roof pieces and we're going to put them oops you know what i'm going to put the yep as i said <laughs> you need to do these in order so we need to do the roof pieces first or so we do the ceilings. All right. So now we're going to, you could just put ceilings in. You could do that. But if you want to give yourself the most opportunity for being able to feed this thing, no matter where it falls, you don't want to put doors. You want to put hatchways. And you just hit T one time. And it turns it into a hatchway. And you just go all the way around. So you'll have a whole build in place Not all of them that's all of them okay it's all hatchways right now 
Now we can come out here and put in our sloped roof pieces. And I like to, to make them into stairs so I can see through them. It's the same, it, the, the same durability, no matter whether you make it in stairs or not. And it won't go into the ground. Like in arc, you can like add another one and it'll go down the ground. It won't work like that, but you can make it into a half stair and it'll connect. It doesn't look awesome, but it, it works. All right. So now what's going to happen is when uh, something is after us, we're, we're trying to get it in the trap. We'll just got to get it aggroed on us. So we run up here and they'll run inside. Okay. Now we want to make sure they can't get out. So we're going to put these doors up that you can now place. You can't place those. If, um, if you have, uh, if you don't have these down, because if you do, when you, you won't be able to place these. Now I've got, uh, modded doors on here. So let's make them so that they, they're like vanilla and we'll just say they, um, turn off. We'll switch them to manual. Okay. So they're manual. All right. So here's the, so here's the deal. All I got to do is get something mad at me. One of these aggressive critters, <laughs> there's none. <laughs> there's a pig. Okay. So you get them red and you just, you just run up and you run through. Don't try to fall through the gaps. I mean, you can be really slick and try to fall through, but odds are you'll get hung up and you'll, you'll just get, you know, punched and murdered by whatever you're trying to, to get after you. Now let's see. I don't think I can get this pig that mad at me. I don't know if a pig can fit through a doorway. I think a pig might be able to fit through a doorway. But the lions, the tigers, the bears, the giraffes, the rhinos, the elephants, they can't fit through that doorway. Again, if it's a, if it's a bigger animal, you're going to want to make it a little bit taller. The first floor is the same, no matter what the, the, um, the doorway may have to be bigger. If it's a bigger animal, you may have to use a medium sized doorway instead of a small one. But basically all you're doing is you're running in, you get them mad at you. You run through here, run at the back, turn back around, run through here. Close the door. Bob's your uncle. You got your critter in here. Now they're, they're awake and they're mad. So they're still aggro. So you'll have to knock them out, which, well, you don't knock them out in here. You'll have to shoot them until they're hurt. So they get down to about 20, 10%, 20% health. And then you can bolo them. And, and then once they fall out there, then you can start feeding them. And it's a heck of a lot easier to feed them from underneath. No matter where they fall, you'll be able to feed them from underneath on the edges, underneath the, the middle, no matter where it is, all you have to do is reach up and feed them. And then if they do start aggroing your, the, the AOE, depending on the AOE of the animal bears, AOE is freaking huge, but you can usually crouch and still be able to feed them. And, and most of the time you can do this safely. If you do, let me see how big this guy is. So I usually make a really short characters like little hobbits if you have one of those you'll even be smaller and you just basically have to jump up to uh, feed them and they can't hit you because <laughs> you're only half height so that's the trap built if we have something come over here while we're doing other stuff i'll, I'll get it in here for you and we'll we'll show you how it works but that's basically it now if you're um if you're just setting it up like here at my base what i might would do since i have easy resources because the resources um i can get resources fairly quick because i get a lot um i might would put a door on all four sides just so that i've got the ultimate ability to um to get them in here from any direction but we'll we'll leave it like this for for a minute we'll see what we get over here i'm gonna look around see if there's anything out there the problem horses are they just run away so horses are no help um i need something that's gonna get mad at me That's a little bit bigger than a pig. I don't think I have anything over here. More horses. Are y'all just like sleeping over here or what's going on? All right. Well, Really see anything over here right this minute, but there are other things that I want to get done tonight. 
<laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> I'm still struggling with this bronchitis, whatever, allergies. I don't know what it was that I had. Um, but there's a couple things, other things that I wanted to get done tonight. One was to build us a better ship. The, the, the not bad is, is not bad, but, it, and it'll get me around. I don't like to play third person. I like to see what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> it's still got the wooden ladders that I put on the other night when Wook was watching. <laughs> they have rope ladders. I probably should put those on here, but I'll give you a tour of the boat. This is, this is a sloop that's been modified. And basically all I've done is put a little bit of armor around it. So I've got a, a place I can get inside and I got my bed and an ammo box and a smithy and a food lauder to feed my troops when we're out. And under here is my ship box, which has all the resources that I need to fix the ship or to carry around with me. And then there's, it's a visual glitch that I've got water in here. It's not real. I'm not sinking. <laughs> Lions and tigers of beard. Yes. Um, if you put the, when you build this boat, if you put this, this little attachment on first, it'll only fit on one side or the other in the center of a sloop, but you can use this diving attachment to go dive wrecks even on a sloop. So makes it kind of a multi-purpose boat. It's not, it's not well armed. I mean, I've got, I've got two cannons and a ballista, so I could probably take out a whale or a small ship of a damned, but this is not a fighting vessel. This is just exploration. Um, and then down here, open up. I've got my uh, little stove and a miter, uh, I mean, mortar and pestle, and um, and, a, and a box to put stuff in. And that's pretty much all I need if I'm going to go around looking. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to walk up into your butt. Um, and I've got a crew of one, man the sail. So this is a low-cost um, option. Now, this is a mod here, the, uh, the repairs person, but he will repair my boat whenever it's getting damaged. And anytime you have a boat in the water, it's going to start getting damaged. So what I want to do tonight, I want to get another boat going, but this is what I really want to be able to do. This is all right. So let's, let's go back out here to the map. Okay. We are right here in this Island. And my island has a lot of stuff, but it does not have any gems, and it does not have um, uh, sugar cane or honey. And honey is what you really want to have for beer taming, because the better the food is, the more they'll tame when you're feeding them. So there's a couple things that increase that. One, if you go when you start taming animals, if you um, if you go to your skill tree. And you go to animal taming. Two things will impact how quickly an animal will tame. One is, of course, the well, okay, three. Three things. <laughs> three things. No, but so first, it's how many levels the animal has. So if you've got a, a high level creature, it's going to take you longer to tame it. It just is. No matter what, whether you're playing on modded or anything else, that's just the way it works, right? But the other thing that will speed that, that taming process up is the food that you give it. So if it, if you give it the food that it wants, which for bears would be honey, which I don't have, I can feed it berries, but it'll take me longer to get it to tame versus feeding it honey. And it'll speed the process up. Um, the other thing that will speed the process up is your taming proficiency. So as you get through your survival stuff, you'll get to the point where you can do beast mastery you go then when you get into beast mastery you want to start leveling up on this side of the tree uh you'll have to get you know beast mastery one is just basic stuff you feed and trough your bolas and stuff but then when you want to get to you actually start taming stuff you're going to have to get um this is tier two animals so the first one will give you tier one tier two is bears and horses and things like that and tier three is your tigers, your lions, your elephants and giraffes and the big, big critters. But you want to get this taming proficiency up as high as you can, as you're leveling everything up. So you'll need sneaking so you can get up and sneak up to them to, to feed them without getting your head bit off. And you also want to increase this taming proficiency because that's going to speed up the taming process 
so that you have an increase in how long it, and the speed at which you get them tamed and the levels that they'll pick up probably depending again, depending on how your server works, you may pick up additional levels as well by having that boosted. So those are some things that are in the vanilla. This stuff over on the right is not vanilla. It's modded, but the stuff on the left is and, and make sure you're, you're, if you want to get tame animals tamed, it's not like arc where you can just go out and knock stuff out and you can tame it. That doesn't work that way. Um, you have to be able to tame, you have to get the skill to tame that level creature before you can tame it. So I can, I can go out and knock as many bears out as I want. If I don't have beast mastery too, I can't tame a bear. So it's just, it's a little bit different in the way it does. Um, so <clears throat> what I was saying around the map is I don't have some of the resources on this Island as beautiful as it is that I would like to have. I don't have any tigers on here. I have lions, but no tigers and I don't have some of the resources. So what I really want to do again, this is what the game wants you to do is you want to explore other places. Now. I have gone to the wonderful internet site that the Indies and Queens has, and I've looked up resources on islands. And what I've found out is in B3, the islands over here, not so much this one in the corner, but all three of these have what I'm looking for pretty much. Um, and actually the middle one does too. It's just as one of the corner. It doesn't have tigers. I think it pretty much has everything else. It doesn't have any mean animals, which eh, you know, it might be a bad, not bad place to settle. The other thing that the map shows is these are our um, trade winds and they will speed your boat along in this direction around the map. So it's a, it's a thing that, that Atlas put in a while back um, to make sure that people didn't have to spend hours and hours and hours trying to, to navigate from one side of the map to the other. But if you're playing official, the map is much different than it used to be because now they have rookie zones and then you do you, you transport to one portal and the other one. But it used to be like um, maybe three times the size. If you play single player, you can see, if you play oceans, you can see how big the map is. Each one of these boxes is a separate server to go to. So it could take a long time without these trade winds to get from one side to the other. Now, the good thing is, in Atlas, if you sail off this direction, so you sail off east, you'll come back in on this side. So that's one shortcut that you can take, but the other one is a trade wind. So I'm thinking since B3 is a public zone, I don't know who's, if anybody's got, let's, let's zoom in. I think we can zoom in. Let's go over here. Should be able to zoom in and see if anybody already has claimed these islands. All right, so Jim McTavish Company has claimed the one up top right, but the rest of them are all vacant. So these are all public islands that could be picked up and claimed. So what I'm thinking is I will get in my little boat and we'll take a ride and we'll go over here and we'll see what we see about uh, getting some other resources over this way. That's how I got my parrot. Parrots don't grow on this island that I'm on. <clears throat> But when I was out exploring, trying to find a free port to get some crew <laughs> to man the cannons, uh, I ran across an island that had parrots and that's how I got the parrot and the monkey. Um, and that's, you know, where the ship sunk in front of me and I actually got some crew people. So that was cool. Never had, oh, there's a bull over there. Let's see if I can get this bull over here. Well, we're going to, we're going to try this trap out and then we're going to go. Do some exploring. All right, let's see. Can I get him over here? What level is he? Not that it matters. 32. He's a good one. He's a good one. All right, let's see. Let me, let me try to... I have one arrow. Are you kidding me? Ah... <laughs> uh. That's not going to work. We need a, we need a couple more arrows. Let's just, let's just get a few more arrows. Fiber. I think that'll make arrows. Yes. 38. That'll work. Okay. Now we're good. 
get rid of this stuff, put it back in the box. Oh, we're good. Oh, oh, the billboards. I didn't put the billboards up. So this is an option that, that I was telling, telling you about. Um, let's see, if we want to get the door to close in. Nope, not that way. Nope. Oh, well, doesn't really matter that much. Um, but the option on these billboards, since since there's there's a little bit of a, a room for error on the um, them going straight up the, the place you want them to go to go in the door, <laughs> you can put these these billboard signs out as as kind of a funnel and that'll that'll force them to kind of go up in here and if they come anywhere on this side all right let's see get this let's get this bowl i can get him to come over here you have one bola <laughs> hopefully this will work come here you There you are. Put you in the butt. Oh, come on. I know I hit him. Well. Oh, got him at time. Okay. He should be chasing me. Oh. Oh, I've been gored. Uh-oh, I may not make it. Oh, don't hit me over here. All the other animals are going to come after you. All right, now. Okay, he's in there. Now I just need to close this. Close it. Okay. Hopefully nothing got in there. Okay, yep, he's in there. I was worried about my other animals. Once he started hitting me, they're going to come after him, but they didn't. All right. So then we're just going to hurt him until, oh, oh, that's going to be, okay. That's far enough. We're going to throw a ball at him and he's down. I hope, I hope he needs berries because that's what I got. All right, let's see. Come on. Yeah, he needs berries. Jump up, feed him berry. Come on, jump up, feed him berry. Oh, wait a minute, I can just stand right here. There we go. Feed him. Oh, there he goes. See, I'm now I'm out of harm's way. If he goes swinging his horns around, he's not going to hit me because I'm far enough away from him. And he's not going anywhere. Two seconds. Come on. Eat, Papa. Dang it. It does get a little bit glitchy when you're I'm gonna <laughs> end up getting gored anyway. Eat. There's a glitch in Atlas that if things are um too far through the mesh, that sometimes they won't eat. Probably so that you won't do stuff like this. Oh, dang it. Come on, eat. Eat. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, Yuli, seems you don't know as much as you thought you did. Um, There he goes, he ate. <sighs> Just a matter of getting it at the right angle. There he goes. Right, it's usually like right behind the back of their head is where their 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 hungry spot is. Which is 
like I said, usually the dangerous place because when they go after you, then that's the, that's the pointy end. Come on. Eat, eat, Papa, eat. And somebody was going to say, you know, if you didn't have them up in the air, you wouldn't have this problem. But it, 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 this happens on the ground too. <laughs> They're on a foundation. This can happen. On eat. That's a bunch of bull. All right, let's see if I can get the right angle here. Just eat. Come on. This is not as bad as like if you're trying to do an elephant on official and it's taking like three hours and, and suddenly this happens. Because sometimes they'll move. They'll they'll kind of glitch around. There he goes. <laughs> and where your place was that everything was working, suddenly it's not anymore. Oh, see, I'm losing efficiency because he doesn't eat fast enough. All right, let's feed him again. Come on. This will work sooner or later. There he is. Maybe that's the sweet spot right there. His ear. I just need to nuzzle his ear a little bit. Oh, wow. 14 seconds. <laughs> Better get this one or else he's going to wake up. I don't have any more bolas. Come on. Eight. Okay. All right, so now he's mad again because he, um, no, 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 you just, no. All right, pass. Let me get it. Let's, let me get another ball. All the while his efficiency's going down. Yes, I know. I might have some bowls already made. Really? A thatch. Of course. <laughs> Let's make a few. Right. Let's just take this one over here. I need to knock this guy out before he takes my stuff down. See if this one be easier. Oh no, I gotta hurt him again. If you're ever using a bola and you need, you don't want to throw it, or you got an arrow in your thing and you don't want to shoot it, all you gotta do is switch to a different thing, like to your pick or something, and it'll it'll not throw it or shoot it and just change it to that thing, and then you don't have to waste. Okay, come on, you. Come on, eat. There he goes. He just had to whisper in his ear right. That's all. Okay. So, yeah. Might have to name him Pain in the Butt as well. I have to name him. All right, then you just go up here and open your door. And, um, um, uh, come over this way, guy. Over here. Sooner or later, he'll, he'll come out. Open this one. There we go. Let's do it that way. Come on, Bob. It, they get a little bit persnickety with all those hatchways in there, but 
Sooner or later, he'll find his way out. Let's move the bear back. So that's all there is to it. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, it, it, like I said, if you're on official, it's a little bit dicier and you want to make sure you got plenty of room to, um, to maneuver and get that stuff to work. It, it, it can be a bit of a frustrating thing, but at least once you have them in here, um, especially if you build out of stone, it, they're not tearing it down and you just have to wait till they settle down and stuff. Um, come on out of there. That's the other good thing about the hatchways when they're getting stuck in there is they get stuck really easy. The bad part about it is they get really, they get stuck really easy. Come on. How are you getting stuck in the doorway? <laughs> Over here, dude. Over here. Come on. All right, let's do it this way. I should just put a saddle on and be done with it. Be a whole lot easier. All right, let's do that. I don't have all day. Here, I'm going to borrow your saddle. A bull is a tier two animal. So you have to have a tier two saddle. I don't want to um, harvest his. Where'd he go? There he is. Come here, you. Let's get this on you and get you out of here. Have I got some ladies for you to meet? Let me tell you what. There you go. Now you got some girlfriends. Okay, so so that's the trap, and that's how it works. It may not be the best trap in the world, but it works pretty much every time. And like I said, if you build this out of um, <clears throat> stone, then they won't break it. Um, this one will have to be repaired because you can see. I mean, they did a little bit of damage, but he didn't do a whole lot. There's, you know, one, 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 one. So not much damage at all for him attacking it. Uh, if you don't like the hatchways, you can just make regular ceiling tiles and just put them down and, and just feed them from the sides. But I like to have all my options open and depends on where they, that you bowl them, where they flop to, it, they could just land right in the middle of the thing. And then you'll have to either feed them up from underneath. Like I've got it set up here, or you'll have to open the door and come inside with them. And if your Bola, um, length time isn't very long, that's a, that's a bad place to be is inside of here with a tiger. That's got nowhere else to go, but to eat you before it gets out. Um, if you do do this and you do go in to feed it, don't forget to close the door behind you. You can always duck out of one of these side shoots and they can't get after you. But if you leave the door open and, and I just, you know, from a friend know this, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I've done it. You know, you go in there, you're focused on getting this really great tiger. That's a real high level. And you go in there and you feed him and the, the bola breaks and you go running out the side and you forget the doors open and they just come right out of the door and tear your face off. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Hopefully that'll work for you and, and you won't have too much trouble making it. It's, it's really simple. Um, you can go do make some really elaborate. Oh, that's right. He's on follow. Um, you can make some really elaborate setups, but that one, it was, it's always worked for me no matter where I've been, as long as I can find a fairly flat place to put it down. Um, easy for any animal. Uh, it just may need to be scaled up a little bit if it's a big, animal like an elephant or a giraffe all right we're gonna tell this guy to stop we're gonna put him on neutral and then we're gonna get to get because we've got some sailing to do i'm not gonna take any animals with me because i'll just get them killed and it's really hard to get them on this boat i don't know i could try to put a bear on here you know what I ought to do is just take a sloth. Sloths are freaking OP. It's all get out. Let's take a sloth. Um, this one's actually the better sloth. So we're going to take this guy. He's, he was low level to start. I don't know if I'll be able to get him on the boat though. Now sloths are modded. They, they're the sloths from Ark and, and they have a mod that puts them on here. So if you're playing without mods, uh, no, he's not going to go. See if I can swing him out a little bit and see if I can get him. To get an animal on the ship that you're trying to get them on, 
if they'll fit, you can just hit E, hold it down, and it'll be one of the, the things that says move to the ship. But he won't fit on here, so it's not going to let me do it. Oh, well. I didn't think so. It's a small little exploratory vessel. It's not big. I want to build um, a schooner. I, You know, I the brigs are good for hauling stuff. But the problem with a brig is if you're going into uncharted waters and you don't know how deep it is. Uh... My sloths are fun. <laughs> 170 plus or dang. That's a big sloth. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. You make a fall. Actually, I'll be able to get a bear to do that. Let's see. It just gets really tight. Um, if you want to follow, if you want them to follow you on a boat, you just put them on follow. One thing you might want to do is, uh, Change the follow distance from medium to low. Don't put it on lowest because it'll be like right up your butt and you won't be able to get up on the ship. I don't know if he's going to do it or not, but we'll see. Let's see if we can get him on here. This ship is, is kind of wonky, so I don't know. Uh, where do you go? On here? I don't think he's... Where is he? He's somewhere. Not there. He's not in there. Where'd he go? Did I tell him to follow me? I probably did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I did not. Come here to you. Uh, follow one. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's like, nope. I ain't doing that. If you come in here. Come on. Come on. In the boat. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Up front here. There you go. You can get up front. Do that. Come on. Get up. Now. See, if it was, if I had a flat deck, he might could do it. But this boat is, like I said, it's not built for that. It's really built for me to just run around. It is much easier to get a cat in there. Like a tiger or a or a lion they're just they got i guess a smaller wireframe <laughs> than uh than the bears but we we're we're good we're good if we need to catch something while we're there we'll do it but i want to get i want to get over there because um so the good, that's the good thing. That's another, so I went all the way around the Island. I've been told that I, I never finished the sentence. So I'm sorry about that. It's just the way my brain works, but I did go all the way around the Island to try to see if this is a better place to hang out. Cause this, this little cove is okay, but it's kind of got a lot of rocks in it and it gets a little shallow. Um, but I really didn't find another good place. And the other advantage is the, the, if you see it kind of out in the distance there, it's a little lighter blue streak in the water. That's where we're heading. Cause that's the, that's the jet stream. <laughs> and, uh, so it's not that hard to get to it. So we're going to, we're going to launch the boat. I've got ammo on here. I've got food on here. We've got repair parts. I've got everything we need, but let's, um, let's go. It's amazing. No matter how deep the water is or how big your boat, it takes the same amount of time for the anchor to come up. Like it's 10 feet of water. How much anchor do you need to pull up? All right, let's go. If I stay to the left of this rock up here. I should be okay. Let's change the sail direction. These boats sail a lot better than say Valheim. <laughs> yeah. Valheim boats mechanics are, ugh. They're rough. All right. So we are going to want to go, I think, west, right? Where's Atlas? Yeah, we want to go west. And then when we get through the edge of C3, we're going to hop off and we're going to the B3. So that's where we're going. 
You can make it follow you onto the ship too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm reading that again now. Hey, Neo Crypto, how's it going? Yeah, it this this design for the boat with the angles on it, it, it really messes with the AI and these animals trying to get on there. I've gotten a sloth on one of these before, but like I said, it's really it's really not designed for it. The one I got it on, I put the uh at the front end of the boat instead of putting the doorway there, I just kinda extended the bow out. And you can do that as long as you start this boat before you put the hull on it. Because once you put the hull pieces on there, a lot of the stuff won't clip in. I've actually got uh, how I built this boat on one of my prior videos from the first time we were on Indecent Queens. So if you're interested in putting together a little exploratory schooner, that, I mean, sloop that doesn't cost you much and takes very little crew to man it, this is a good one to build. With the medium handling sail, it, it can get going pretty good. And the wind doesn't really matter where the wind's coming from. Usually I can pr pretty much go where I want to go. And it'll get into just about anything. I've I've been in water that looked like I could reach down and touch the, the bottom <laughs> from the side of the boat and not sunk. That's Like I said, that, I like the Briggs for the, the storage capacity and the, uh, the firepower they can have, but... If you go into a place where you're not really sure about and you hit a rock, eh, you're done for. Had a few of them sink that way. Piracy is going 100% okay right now. We have tamed a bull <laughs> as an example. Um, and I know, you know, on here it's like, you don't need to do all that. <laughs> Can you just put up billboards and, and be done with it? Because it, the taming speeds are a lot faster. But if you're on a, a different server that doesn't have all that stuff boosted, then knowing how to get the animal stationary so he can't get to you while you're trying to tame him is important. Because they will snap at you while you're trying to feed them. And, um, and some of them can hurt pretty bad. That's why I say put a put a bed down near it because if you do get killed, you can get right back in there, and and keep going. I mean, we used to when we do bears on official, we would do bears with a whole full set of armor on, like uh, you know, the, the heavy armor, <laughs> and still have a bed there. Ah, twenty three knots, not bad for a little bitty boat like this. I like that island there, the the Paul Revere type island. But I like my island. I like I like it because it's like Christmas, and I'm like Santa. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm got gray hair and a big belly, but I'm not I'm not Santa Claus. Believe me. keep track of where we're at um, I'm going to zoom this map in a little bit and center a little bit better that's the direction we're going I'm going to leave it all up so if I leave it up in here it's going to show on it when I hit the M button on my on my hot bar and that way I can get to it a lot faster Oops. Ah. Attention, Yuli. Yeah. It was a whole lot faster when you're in here. Stanley, you're going so fast. I am impressed. Awesome build. Where you're off to. Okay, so we are heading to... We're going to go get kind of a foothold in one of these islands. And if you see, we're going to B3, all the way to the left. 
And we're gonna look at the we're gonna check out the islands over there. The top right one is owned, but the other four are not. So we're gonna take a look at those and see if that's not Oh, there's a there's a wreck. Oh, stop, 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 stop. All right, now we're gonna be look. This is a little bit dangerous. Those are just chips of the dam, though. I'm not really too worried about them. All right. So this is the advantage of putting the little diamond bell on this little sloop. I can get, I can dive wrecks with this thing, which most times you don't do in a sloop. You, you know, you grab a few boxes here and there, but you're not getting, getting wrecks. Well, if I put the sail right yeah this this one's oh 4.8 that's not bad this one's got a little bit of get up and go and this is the this is the um the exploratory sloop for people using the mod that are doing using the uh aa mods they make several that you can do several different kinds. You can do uh exploratory or war or um, luxury or different things like this. And, and they each have different advantages, but okay, let's, let's put the diving suit on. Let's go, let's go get a wreck. Whee. Look at my little diving suit. I'm all protected. Sharks won't get me as long as I got this diving suit on. But if I accidentally hit the wrong button and, <laughs> and take it off, things are going to get dicey really fast. It's a cheap way. <laughs> I'll just say it's a cheap way. It's a, it's a, I say, a valid way of getting, getting sailors on your boat if you, uh, sink a ship and you want to get the, wow there's no bottom here huh <laughs> Siri will help me there's no bottom um but yeah if uh oh not that way oh no hope I can get over here this way no oh, it's one of those uh back here down down Anywhere? Oh, right. Uh, that's one I got to go into the side. Oh, no. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to fall through the map. There's no glitches to this game, by the way, if, if you were wondering. I <laughs> no bottom in the ocean. Ah. All right. Let's see if I can do this without dying. Forward. Ah, made it. Grab that. This oh peppers and limes. Oh no, no! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh no! I'm getting shot at. Oh, that's not good. Ah! Bad timing. Bad timing. Get up, 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 get up. Get out of here. No. Not access inventory. What are you doing? Go. Fly like the wind. <laughs> That's why I have the armor on here. All right, let's, you know what? Fine. That's what you want. Why aren't we not firing? There we go. Fire. Come on. You asked for it. Fire! Dude! Why am I not firing? Uh... B? 
see. Let's try that. There we go. Level five ship. And as long as I can keep just out of his range, my guys will just take him apart. Hopefully, the next couple shots here, because we're getting ready to zone. Not taking any damage much. Overshot. All right, we got you now. Get him. There we go. Ha! Mess on my little boat. Ah, shark's already there eating the guys. <laughs> uh, um, let me grab this box. Oh, you kidding me? Oh, okay. I was gonna say no. Why am I hitting all these weird buttons? Let's grab that. We'll go over here and get this. And then we'll get on our way. But see, if I didn't have all that armor on, I'd I'd be toast. They'd have, they'd have tore my boat all apart. So you can get you can get um, passengers this way. I mean, uh, crew people this way. If the sharks don't get them first, oh, missed. It's a little bit of a tight fit over here. What do we get? Uh, 68 coins, some wheat, some fish and chips. Oh yeah, we got lots of good stuff. Okay. There's no shipwreck over there, but we got things to do. So we're going. And we're coming up on server line. Where's it? Oh, I'm, I'm way off the string. All right. Well, we'll get through on the other side. We'll get back in the, in the, uh, the fast lane. Or after my tomato plan. <laughs> yeah, no bends on this one. Let's get up there fast. Hopefully they haven't sunk my ship before I got up there. Okay. Let's get over to the the fast lane here sometimes the bad guys will be in the fast lane that's that's fun <laughs> it's like ramming speed here we go yeah i think they're going to be in the fast lane or they're going to be close to it No, oh, no, it's going to rain. Oh, that's not good. Getting out of the, I'm getting out of the lane. A little bit of adjustment there and trying to make sure you stay in the middle of this. Trade wind. You want to keep that little green symbol at the bottom, right? That one right there. If it goes out or if it turns red, if it turns red, you're going the wrong direction. And if it goes off, then it means you're out of this, out of the trade wind. You lose all the buff. I'm going to put my clothes back on. It's going to get cold. And feeling. There. That should be a little bit better. Okay, I'm not freezing anymore. Now, because I've got resources on here and I'm running this mod, I can tell this guy if I don't fall off the boat. Hey, dude. 
start repairing. And he should start repairing the boat while we're riding. Fixing it back up. Uh, the one with the repair thing is the ship repair podium. Yeah, there you go. Repair crew. You should give it a shot, Neo. You should come out here to, uh, to these, this, uh, server group for Indecent Queens. Because if you played it when it first came out, it was, it was a hot mess. I mean, there was no sky. <laughs> it's just black. Um, the first I played on launch and it was horrible. Um, but they made some improvements and with the mod pack that, that the indecent queen servers have on it, it's 30 mods, but you know, you play Conan with that many mods or that big of a, a load of mods. It's a lot of fun. I mean, they've basically taken the grind work out because, um, you get the skills when you start playing, you don't have to go try to get them all. And you just play. And there's some... I mean, it's PvE, but there's AI pirates in here. Aside from the ships of the dam that are ahead of me, that are like player ships. So if you like PvP, you can still get that kind of itch scratched without being, you know, having to worry about offline raiding and all that other crap that comes along with it. I have a blast playing. I just... <laughs> my problem is I don't have enough time to play all the games I have. Oh, uh, see, these guys are right in the freaking lane. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is not going to be good. And this includes, yes, I've got a link to their website in the description. So uh, you can go to there, and it's got all the information about the mods that they've got, the map, um, everything about the group. And uh, you just go to the unofficial page on the server list, and put in East indecent Queens and you can find them really quick. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh man, this is going to be bad. I got to make sure I don't lose the, Oh, they're going to, Oh, they're going to tear me up. Just don't ram anything. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just keep on going. Oh, they're all mad. They're mad. That's a level nine galley. I could probably take it out if I put my time, but that's not our mission here. We're not chasing squirrels right now. <laughs> run the blockade. Yep. Sometimes it's better to run and live to fight another day. <laughs> there you go, dude. The cool thing is, um, you can, uh, it's, it's a public thing. You don't have to pay to get in there, but you can do like I'm doing and do a, a VIP Island and you own your Island basically. And, you decide who gets to settle in there or not, and and you get a lot, you get a lot of perks as far as resources and stuff like that to get started with. It's up, it's you know, it's all up to you what you want to do. The the harvest rates are really good. Oh, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Don't no no. Ah ah. Ooh, he got me off on me though. I got him too. Uh, I'm not. I'm not fighting ships right now. This is not. This is not the vessel for that. Okay, we're zoning again, so we're coming up on the right place. Yeah, I'm below poverty level. No room. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is the. This is if you've got the game already, a great way to have some fun for free. Because the public. Most of the servers, uh, most of the grids are public, and you can you can uh, get an island there. We're going to a public grid now, and uh, there's five islands available for anybody who wants to settle on them to claim them. Can you settle where? Nope. Yeah, it does go it. We went launch over. That's so bad at the time. Yeah. Yeah, it it, it was a bit of a mess when it started. I, I've played it for, oh, geez. I probably got uh, way too many hours in this game. But 
it's uh, I think it's gotten better as far as the glitchiness about it. I mean, it's still glitchy, but it's not as bad as it was. And as long as you don't do that, I don't, they've got modular ships now, and you can just like build them straight in the in the ships. Um, oh, what is it? Hangar. Oh, whatever. The word escapes you right now. Where the place you build ships at? <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, you can build. You can come on over, Dry Dock. Yeah, what is it they call them in here? Um. Oh well. Anyway, you can um, with the modular ones, you just kind of throw resources in there and hit a button, and it makes the ship. So you don't have to build the cribbing and then deck out the boat. But I think it takes most of the fun out of it. And those ships suck. They're horrible. You can't really make it better, even. I built two. I've scuttled both of them because they were so bad. Slow and just, uh, you, you're not custom customizable enough to really do the job that I wanted to do. And so I was like, nope, nope, never going to do that again. I like building my own, though, because I like to design it. stuff like this. It's fun for me to figure out how to make it work. All right, where are we at? Okay. We're in C3. We just got to get over to B3, and we will be rock steady. Shipyard. That's what they're called in here, shipyards. I remembered. It takes me a minute. You know, us old guys have to think a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a jaggedy uh, trip coming through C3. I'm going to run into some more friends up here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are seeing this, but I'm like, I, I get going good. And all of a sudden it goes, Burk! backs up a little step and then it goes forward again. I don't know, Serial. Is C3 having issues? That's the thing that amazes me. These, uh, with any, uh, the game itself is huge. If you play single player and you play the oceans, you can see the magnitude of the different, the, how large the map is. Um, but if you if you want to play and have your own server, every grid is a server. I mean, it's, it, uh, yeah, I, uh, hats off to these these folks. Like in Decent Queens, there's there's several of them that run servers, and I'm not going to say that, you know, they aren't good too. I just I like I like the folks that run this thing. They've been very good to me. I'll just say that. They put up with my my silliness, like starting the other night and not doing what I was supposed to. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit laggy coming through the, the trade winds, but I mean nothing. Okay. Yeah, here's some here's some friends up here. I'm gonna have to come off of this a little bit once I get up here. But that's when I get ready to hit the corner. Ooh, wow. All right, well, this is gonna be a near miss here. We're gonna have to cut through uh, oh, he's a red one too. Uh! Okay, we're gonna have to go fast. Come on! Don't, oh, he's turning. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, they're all turning, and I can't turn fast enough. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Ow! Ow! Go, go, little ship, go! Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Just don't take my sail out. <laughs> you got no help in taking <laughs> taking these guys out. We just got to get the heck out. Run. Run, little ship. I've lost a cannon. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I've outrun them. They can't catch me. They're good. We're good. We're good. It's <laughs> lost a cannon, but that's all right. Oh wow! <laughs> I lost some some 
Armor too. That's okay. That's just wood and fiber and stuff. None of my crew got killed, so that's good. <laughs> now I'll end up with like whatever it is, Yar Yardisol or Yargrath or whatever. <laughs> RIP cannon, yep. Um, let's see. How close am I to the okay, we gotta turn. Turn the sail into the wind a little bit better. Not much wind going. Won't be able to rebuild that cannon, but I will be able to fix the ship back up once I get on the land. I don't have any alloy, I don't think, on here. <laughs> there's a there's a shipwreck up here. Let's see how that went, goes. <laughs> it's a little out time. No, no, we're not we're not stopping. We're going. We're almost there. We're almost to the to the destination. Or at least the grid of the destination. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Watch it be like a nine point eight or something shipwreck. I'd at least ride through it just to see. Uh, Seven point oh. Uh, all right, fine. <laughs> is it night? The day? What is it doing? Is it getting? Is it getting light? It gets really dark down there if it's good and dark. Do I have a light? I think I have a light. I have a light. Put that on. That's my food. Oh Jesus! I'm. <laughs> Ah, I'm about to die. Pump those up. Pump this up a little bit. Ah, let's go down here. <laughs> let's see how bad the damage is. Ah, it's okay. It's just like you know. Now we're now we have a convertible. this in there that in there I'll see this um that in there uh how are we doing we better now still need some yellow let's eat some garlic that's good for you I think we're good, or at least mostly. Water's all right. <clears throat> Nothing around this time, right? Nope. Okay. All right. Come on. Diving suit on. Let's go. Do what's down here. <clears throat> Light work down here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you dive these things at night, it's really, really dark down here. It usually gets really dark and then it clears up a little bit when you see the ship. But yeah, at nighttime, I don't like diving. I can't see where I'm going. And it just doesn't work. Let's see. Where's it? Over here. It's always in the section I don't go to first. At least there's a floor to the ocean here. That's a good thing. Um, let's see. Go in this doorway here. Let's see if we can get... Oh, yeah. Yeah! Oh. Darn it. Oh, there's a door here. Um, I'm doing this and I'm ducking down in real life like I've got to duck my head to get down through this thing. Hilarious. What do we got? Anything good? 225 gold? I'll take that. Okay. Going back up. 
Thank goodness I don't see another pirate ship blowing my stuff apart. <laughs> These ladders crack me up. Normally I'd have rope ladders on here, but I uh, got exploring and forgot to put ladders on here and I ended up in an aisle and I couldn't get back on the boat. <laughs> so I put these on. They work. Okay, hit X. Now I'm naked. Let's get some clothes on. Probably don't need them here, but... We'll leave the hat off so my hair can blow in the wind. All right, we are going which way? We're probably pointing in the wrong direction. Yep. We got to turn around. Pop sail. Whoa, that was interesting. <laughs> Good, I like one. What was, what was uh, the witness to my... <laughs> my failure to prepare that's the fun part so if you're if you're interested in in you know hanging out with the ogs go on the discord and sign up and and hang out with us because sometimes i'll just and, and not just me some of the other content creators we have on there we'll just go into the channel for the game and stream their stuff when they're just goofing off and and you know you can talk to them in voice chat and, and hang out it's 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 fun I'm going to run into this crate. I don't have time to stop for you. <laughs> if you're having fun, make sure you hit the like button. Hopefully all 15 people watching are having a good time. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's, you know... At the end of the day, if you're playing games and you're not having fun, then what are you doing? Have fun. Life's short. Enjoy it. People say, I, I've played this game and I get comments from time to time of, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. See, I have one of those buttons too. Um, it's not a big red rectangle anymore though. It's a little white Tic Tac that's, to me, almost depressing to click on because it's just a little bitty tiny little dot. <laughs> Distracting the game currently playing. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I we uh we we hang out in the Discord. We we have some really <laughs> interesting conversations. But yeah, sometimes people just stream just just for the fun of it. Um, so yeah. If you're hankering for, uh, and the, the cool thing with our discord is we've got people from all over the world in it. So if you're, you know, up at four o'clock in the morning, cause you can't sleep and you're, you know, wanting to go hang out with somebody and talk about stuff or goof off or go play a game, then come by and check. Cause there's allowed to be somebody on there. We've got people from Australia on, we got people from Europe on, we got people from South America on, um, all over the place. It, 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 I am not kidding you. It blows my mind the amount of people that are are, are interested <laughs> in watching this old dude get killed a lot. But yeah, I'm not complaining, and um, I like having a place for people to hang out. I think it's cool. I want to say that's an island over there, but I think that's AI ships over there, and I really don't want to fight them right now because I need to repair my vessel. Ooh, that light is. Bad. Okay, here we got. Um, okay, we're coming into the one island that is actually owned by somebody. So I think what I'm gonna do. See if we can keep. Actually, this might be the best place to go. But if I drop in here, I can repair my ship without having to worry about tigers and stuff going after me on the beach. But that wouldn't be any fun, would it? Let's let's keep going. We're going to get to one of these islands that we want to explore. All right, let's get let's get what we can repaired. Start repairing. Nope, not sailed. 
Nope, not that either. Ah, oh, click off. Okay. Start repairing. There. Get to work there, Skelly dude. Jack Skellington. <laughs> and I think that the seven by seven grid that we have here is is good. It's a good size. You can get across it without too much of a grind traveling. I mean, I've been playing, <laughs> going all the way across the map where it took four hours and people are falling asleep in real life on the, <laughs> that are on the boat. <sighs> that was back when I was playing PvP and you know, you're like, you got a crew full of people and people on cannons and everything else and you go out for a raiding party and you're coming back. Oh, and then you run against the wind because the wind's not blowing your favor. Oh, and then storm after storm. And then everybody just kind of just like, and then you have a fleet of enemy ships come up and try to blow you out of the water. Okay, we're gonna head for the the island that says the B three is right on top of. Let's let's zoom in and see what we got here. Um, let's see. Atlas. And I'll put this right here. Zoom in. Nobody has claimed that island. We're gonna have to go by this thing. I don't know if the neutral ones will shoot at me or not. I guess we'll find out. But this is a prime example. See this island right here. With all that, this dark blue around the island is shallow water. And if I was in a brig, I don't know that I'd even try to stop here. Maybe right out here on the bottom south point here. But everywhere else, I might hit a rock or go aground. And then that really is a bad day. But with this little sloop, I can get in and out without any problems. And then if I find that it's this place I want to stay, then I can figure out where I want, want to build a deep water type terminal. Or if I don't, and it's not the kind of island I want, then I'll just move on and find something else. But I have the island I've got is cold. I'd like to get a more warmer climate island too. And that way I can have resources from both available to me. As long as they're not too far away. And since this is on a trade route or of um, what you call it, then it's not too bad. So there's this island that's to the left here. That's the center island. That's that one there. And if we, if you can't zoom out on this, it's a pain in the butt. It can plus and minus, but it's right. It only pluses and minuses where you had your pointer. It's not as good as being able to move the wrap around. Um, so we have two places we could go. 46 and 35. Actually, 46 has better landing places. That's the, that's the, um, yeah, that's the place that might shoot at us when we go past it. So let's, let's give it a little bit of a berth. But the other thing that I wanted to, to show you, the reason why I want to come over here is if I go to the Atlas and zoom out a little bit. So, you know, we took the, the trade wind this way. And since this the other trade wind goes back the other way, if I get in any of these three islands, I can just jump on this and take the fast route back. And it takes me right back over. It doesn't take me to E3. It takes me to E2, but then I can just go straight down to my island. So I pretty much got fast travel both directions. And once you get, if you're, if you're going to have two bases set up, and then in here, if you're doing public, you can do a public base and then a, like a, a fob type situation somewhere else. But if you set up a bed at both places, you can fast travel back and forth. The only thing is you can't take anything with you. So you're, you're just basically traveling from one bed to another without anything on. So you want to make sure you strip down of everything because it's going to disappear if you don't go back fast enough. Um, but yeah, you get, a, you, you get your resources all set up there and then you can bop back and forth and then you just 
stock your shelves with the stuff you want to transport and then make one run every once in a while and move your stuff over to wherever you want to have it. That's what we usually did when I was playing a lot, which is what I want to do here. I can get, get there without getting sunk. So how many people are, are that are on the chat here are, are, are on Twitter <laughs> and are going to play for the blue check mark or whatever to verify their account. Uh, I am not going to do that by the way, just in case anybody, you know, ask is old name, old gamers never die real person. Um, it, it, I'm as real as, as you know, Santa or tooth fairy or whatever else. No, I mean, <laughs> I've already seen where they've they've uh, been able to you know get verified accounts for fictitious people already. So why would I pay eight dollars a month or a year or whatever to get a verified account? People ain't figured out that I'm I'm who I say I am by now. I don't think anybody's gonna want to pretend to be me. I don't know why you would want to do that. And I have no desire to pretend to be anybody else. I have a Twitter. Don't care for a check. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that idea, but I think it was pretty stupid. I mean, if you can't trust Twitter, what can you trust? <laughs> the internet is a scary place. If you believe everything you see on the internet, well, I got a deal for you. Um... All right, so we got our we got our map jacked up here. Let me see what we got. All right, we're in B three. We're coming down here. This is the one I wanted to check out. Yeah, so we need to go north. That's the one right there. That's it. And who? Oh, it's got little island tiki things on it. Hey, Reagan, how's it going? <laughs> Keep them honest, Reagan. <laughs> Reagan, did you see I got a bear the other night? I don't know if you logged off before I got the bear or not, but I did get a bear. I'm going to see if I can't get a tiger over here. I hope I'll take it back with me, but I'm going to try. No Twitter for me. It's toxic. <laughs> it can be. There's good people on there. I've met um, some good folks out there on Twitter. You know, it's just like everything else on, well, you know, internet, real life, whatever you want to call it. There's good people and there's bad people. And the, the thing that I want to focus on for me is you spend time with the good people and you let the bad people just kind of slide off, right? I mean... It's too much of our time. It, yeah. Yeah. Keeping track of it is, is, is a chore. Um, I do my daily little wisdom pieces. I, every, when I get up in the mornings, I go sit out on the porch with my dogs and let them run around the yard. And that's where I come up with those little bits of silliness. <laughs> so that's how I keep my daily routine going. But yeah, I, I look at it like this is you're, you, you've got good people in the world. You've got people that are not good people. <laughs> Spend your time on the good people, spend time with them, enjoy time with them, have fun with them. And the bad people, you just kind of got to like, just move on. And where I see people get all wrapped up in the toxicity of it is when they start spending time on those people, you know, the, why? <laughs> nothing's making you do that. Just, just move on. Find another group of people to talk to. Find somebody else to talk to. Don't talk to anybody for a while. I don't, you know, but the last thing you have to do is engage with people that are going to be negative. <clears throat> and in fact, most of them would love to have you engage with them because then that just means that they're, they're, um, they're getting under your skin. And I choose not to play that game. 
All right, this looks like a decent little place to drop anchor. What do we got walking around on the beach, though? There are tigers on this island. Going to be a little bit careful about that. There are also cobras. Okay. Um, and I do not have a rifle or a gun. I have a sword and a bow. What are you shooting at, guys? Slow it down. Oh, Lord. they're shooting at fish. Hold on. <laughs> Let me take them off. Stop shooting. All right. Okay, we should be good. All right. Um... All right, so I have a bow. Let me see. Let me uh, get my spyglass out here and see what's over here. Uh, I got to figure out how to... Oh, there we go. This is a modded spyglass, by the way, that, that shows you the levels and stuff. The regular one doesn't. At least I can see what's over here. Oh, Crocs! Awesome. What's that? Pigs? Oh, that's a big crack. Oh, the birds would kill him. That'd be some prime meat. We can use that for, uh, yeah, get him, get him birds, get him birds. We can use that to catch us a tiger. Life is too short to spend time with negative people. Let me bring you down. Yep. That's for sure. There he is. He's dead. Let's go. My sword out. Hey, there's another one laying around here somewhere. I made a discovery. What do you know? Okay. Let's hack him up real quick. Before he sends a friend over here. Okay, we got all kind of stuff. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. What's this? Time. He's not going to eat time. I need berries. We're going to get us a pig. Because it's always... Wait a minute. Am I hearing a... I want to hear a snake. Um, let's see, I can just find some berries. This is all straw. Jute. Oh, I don't have jute. What is this? More jute. Berries. <gasps> Sugar cane. All right. That. More jute, I guess. Pigs aren't going to eat that, though. What else have I got? What is this? Nope. Just need a little fruit. The salt. Looks like salt. Yep. Okay, this island's looking good. I wonder if this is a gum tree. Well, I don't have to do all that. I can just look at it. Oak bark and resin. Okay. I don't have oak. I do have bark and resin though. Hmm. I'd like to get a pig because then he will protect me for a minute until something kills him. What is that? Oh, it's an elephant. Hello, elephant. A little bitty elephant. <laughs> Uh, is that a flag? I already got this place. That's a tree. Um, I can't believe I can't find any berries. Sea grapes or something. Uh, lots of salt. That's good. What we got over here? 
I don't run into a tiger. What's this? That's something different. Basil! Sulfur. That's good. Those are tusks. Yeah. This. Chickpeas. Getting all kind of veggies, but no fruits. What's that? Is that a lime tree? No. I don't think he'll eat. You know what? I might have some lignum berries on me. I do not. Will he eat? I don't think he'll eat chickpeas. Let's try it. Come here. Come here, piggy piggy. Uh, apple tree? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, he will. Come here. What level are you? A 36. Okay. You can be my friend. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, no. Don't walk away. I got more food. I'm back. I promise I'll give you four. Uh, you can look, hang out with me and we can conquer this whole island. Come on. Just, just eat. Maybe my E key on my keyboard is jacked up. Maybe that's the problem I'm having. Because I keep hitting the button and they're not eating. And that hasn't been as much of a problem as it used to be. I remember trying to feed monkeys and it was a bore. Come on. Yeah. I think I, think I got a new keyboard. <laughs> oh no. I'll tell Mrs. Yuli I got to go buy a new keyboard. Never know. I don't think she's watching. I think she went to bed. <laughs> Woo Come back here. Come back here. There we go. Um, you're going to be named <laughs> Temp Pig. Because <laughs> I don't know how long you're going to last. Can, can you carry me? Nope. Cannot. I'm not even going to put levels in you because <laughs> not much point. I don't think you're going to last long. We're going to give you, a, we're going to give you the best chance I can give you. Bacon. <laughs> oh, that's, well, it's a, it's a female. Can't name Ke a, a gal, Kevin. All right. Well, we're going to do this. You're going to follow me and you're going to protect me with your life. How's that? <laughs> it sounds fair. <laughs> Okay, come on. It'll be fun, honest. Trust me. Don't look at me that way. Uh, I'm going to put you on low. Just so you stay right next to me. Get my sword out. Let's go, piggy pig. All right, so we've got some decent resources here. That's good. Dinner. Poor job. Y'all are terrible. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Damn pig. Y'all call it pork chop. Uh, little parrot. I'll get this map. Yeah, if you're if you've not played Atlas before, you get these treasure maps all over the place. Um, but they're usually not for the quadrant that you're actually in to make you go find stuff somewhere else. Savory Sally. How big are you? A 12. I can have a pig army. That way nothing will touch me. More or less. Call it some pig. <laughs> uh, these are low level pigs. They would just be, they would, they talk about being fodder. Um, I don't know what the parrots are going to have to have. Hey, the parrots are going to have to have berries. I got to find some berries on this island somewhere. Some kind of fruit. I'm also going to need some water. Uh, oh, I bet this is copper. <coughs> yep, copper. And I don't know, is uh, that's got to be sulfur. Yep, sulfur. What's this? This is a tree that I haven't seen. Sea grapes. Yeah, boy. Okay. Now, uh, what is that parrot that we got? The parrot is a, 
It's a female parrot, isn't it? Well, you were you were on the night I got the parrot, right? Um, I think we need a male parrot if we can get one. I can carry the male parrot back with me if I need to. Oh, wow. It's 12 o'clock. I'm having so much fun. I didn't even look and see what time it was. Dang. I hope y'all are having fun. Well done. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's the thing. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Um, so that everybody, you know, that comes and watches this stream later, we'll see how much fun we had. All right. So I have right now, I have two bears, um, two cows, two bears, two cows, a monkey, a parrot, a crow, a seagull, and a pig back at, at the other base. And two sloths that all need names. So um so pick let's 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 come up with a really silly name <laughs> for any one of those. And uh make sure you leave something in the comments that says that uh that particular animal was the freaking bomb diggity. On uh, on kick handles butts, and everybody will have to watch the stream and go. Where was where was you know, strawberry cupcake, <gasps> apples. Oh, can't do that with this. All right, got apples. But yeah, I've got those animals that I need names for. So if you want to uh, give me some names for those, what are, what is this? Let's let's see what this parrot is. Is it a decent level? Let's start with that. 28. Uh, come on, stop. I can't, I can't, can't look at it and, ah, uh, can't keep it in focus and look at the thing at the same time. I'm not coordinated enough. Is it saying male, female? I can't, uh, Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, Jesus, spiders. Sweet baby Jane. Ah, uh, that's a big spider too. Um, let's leave. Oh, somebody's got a house over here. Oh, this is not a, this is not a player house. This is a POI. Anything good around here? I don't think you can get any things. Nope. All right, parrot. You're going off in the distance here. Actually, you're coming my way. Come on back over here. Come on. Get away from the spider. 28. How are you? Uh, male, I think. All right. Oh, dang it. I don't have any bolas. Crud. Can I make a bola? All right. What do I need to make a bola? Uh, bola, bola, bola. What don't I have? I have, uh, all I need is a stone. Oh man. Got to be rocks around here somewhere. That's poop. Not gonna help me. Don't go nowhere. I, I'm. I got plans for you. Uh, I gotta find a rock. This looks like a rock. If I can break it, I don't think I can. Nope. That would be too easy. That spider's over here somewhere. There he is. Oh, he's aggroed. Up. Oh, get out of my way, pig. Coming. Good climb up on that rock. Take him out. Where'd he go? Oh, 
Okay, he's gone. Let's go back, focus on the parrot. Where's the parrot? There the parrot. Alright. Um We're gonna need a bola. Oh, there's no no, there's two parrots over here. I think this is the blue one is the one we wanted, right? Twenty-eight male. Oh, that one's a twenty-eight male. Who's this one? Come on, tell me what you are. Tell me. <sighs> so many parrots. This is going to be the problem. When I get one of them, the rest of them are going to come after me. That red one now. I'm never going to get him off the, out of the air. What do you think? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Are the other parrots coming after me? No. That's amazing. What prowess. I am the, the hunter extraordinaire. Look at that. <laughs> the spider's going to come up behind me now. Take a big bite out of my butt. Good thing I recorded that, huh? Never see that twice. Yeah, so the mod well you played on this server. Um nope. You don't you don't have to hurt them on this mod. All you have to do is bowl them. So you don't have to worry about having a cage and everything. There we go, parrot. Come on, Parrot. You can ride on my shoulder. Let's see how that looks. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. There we go. <laughs> awesome sauce. We got a Parrot. And we got a good, looked like good resources on this island. <laughs> Friends, not slaves. Yeah, exactly. Uh well, it is past midnight and it is a week, a weeknight and a lot of people have to go to work and school and stuff like that tomorrow. So I'm going to, uh, to let y'all know <laughs> that, uh, I really, really appreciate people coming out and watching these streams. It, it just, it just amazes me and, and tickles my funny bone and everything else. It really makes it worthwhile doing these things to, to think that people enjoy them. So thank you so much for coming out. Like I said, <coughs> If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. It helps me out with all the YouTuberisms and, and stuff and gets my stuff seen by more people. And, um, you know, we grow the OGs and, and make more more people happy out there. That's that's a good thing. Very positive outlook on life. <laughs> and, you know, if you really are enjoying the content out there and you haven't signed up for Old Gamers Never Die, hey, reach down there, hit the little white Tic Tac or whatever. <laughs> And join the OGs and, and make us, you know, even stronger. We've got, like I said, when I started the night, it was a hundred, it was 1818 subscribers. So maybe we even hit 2000 by the end of the year. That would be so cool. I started this and I know Donna May thought this is probably never going to go anywhere, <laughs> but y'all proven it wrong. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the support. Y'all have a really great week. I'm going to, find a little place to make a little hut here and, and then we'll establish a trade route between this island and the other one. And, and life will be good. <laughs> we'll do some more exploring next time and we'll build a ship. That's what we, that's one of the things I wanted to do, but we'll build a bigger ship and we'll do some, uh, we'll do some pirate hunting. Thanks again for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Y'all have a great week. Stay safe, stay well. And this is Yuli signing out. Wrong.